people queue up outside the venue where the finalist Greek nominees compete for the country's tune that will make it to this year's Eurovision Song Contest. 100 yards up the road are some of the employees who, after months of unpaid work, were laid off last year by the man who pays for this evening's sumptuous event, Andreas Kouris, a music TV channel owner who owes these unemployed workers more than 600,000 euros in wages and compensations. Pursuing their case in court, they managed to have Kouris convicted to a suspended 27-month jail sentence and an 8,000 euro fine. Most of these workers are since then unemployed and still owed their money. Joblessness and poverty is the real image of Greece, not the fake national identity shown by Eurovision. We are here to say that Greeks cannot endure any more austerity cuts, corruption and misinformation in the media and injustice against workers in the state and private sectors. Despite legal wrangles and claiming his company cannot afford to pay former workers their dues, Kouris was assigned the expensive production and hosting of the event by the Greek Broadcasting Corporation. How is it possible that a businessman who has been convicted by the courts can be assigned the hosting of the Greek Eurovision Song Contest by the Greek State Broadcasting Corporation? He owes us 600,000 euros. Does anyone realize that this event is paid for with our money? The very image of the police protecting the Eurovision venue is so upset we are unemployed, victimized by corruption and corporate greed. What these workers find most infuriating is the systemic endorsement of their former non-transparent employer by the Greek Broadcasting Corporation, a state enterprise. In November last year, Greece had said it would not participate in the contest this year as it could not afford the 150,000 euro participation fee. Evidently, the money was allocated, but who? does it really belong to. The workers say that the money spent on hosting this lavish event should have been used to pay off their wages. Furthermore, they add that Greece's participation in this year's Eurovision Song Contest is morally wrong and expensive as the country tries to deal with a deepening financial crisis and that the image portrayed in the contest is far removed from the reality of poverty and unemployment as the European Union struggles to maintain its financial, political and apparently its cultural cohesion. This is Konstantin Venizelos for Press TV in Athens.